Hey everyone. When dealing with text data, it's a good idea to normalize that text before you do other preprocessing steps with it. That way the text can be kind of in the same form throughout the entire pipeline. And in this video, I'm going to show how you can normalize your text within ML.NET. So in Visual Studio here, let's go ahead and download ML.NET using version 1.4 here. All right. And first things first, let's create our ML context. We're messing with this normalized text. I'm just going to create empty data to start out with. And to do that, I do context.data, load from enumerable. I do a new list of an input class. And let's go ahead and create this class. And in here, I'm just going to have a string property of text and while we're here let's go ahead and create another class that's going to be our output schema class just call it output and this is going to have a string property of normalized text with our empty data we can create our normalized pipeline and we do context that transforms that text that normalize text as first parameter is going to be the output column name so I'll say normalized text the second parameter is the input column name I'll say text since our input class has a property named text on it and there are a few other parameters that we can do here to tell it how to normalize the first is the case mode, which by default, it'll lowercase all the text, but we can tell it to uppercase everything or do nothing to it. I'll leave that as the default. The key diacritics, that tells it that if word create has like an accent or uh, something else in it, then it'll remove that from the word. So for example, if we have a bunch of text data for recipes, and we have the word crep in it with the accent, running this with dire critics as false is gonna remove that accent from the word. I'll keep this true for now. And we have keep punctuations, so this removes all the periods, uh, commas, and other punctuation that your text may have. So I'll do false for this, and then keep numbers. I will just remove any numbers from within your text. And I'll say false. So with our pipeline, we can create a normalized transformer by using the pipeline and calling fit on it and passing our empty data. And then we create a prediction engine using context.model, create prediction engine with our input and output and pass in the transformer or the model. And now we can try this out can create some new input text and I'll continue with that recipe example that I mentioned earlier so I'll say whisk the batter for the for the crepe then let it sit for five minutes now I don't have any experience making crepes so this might be totally wrong but we're going to use it anyway here so with that text we'll get some normalized text by using prediction engine that predicts and send in that text and now we can do some console write lines here first uh, let's print out the original text so we can compare it that'd be text add text next let's just do an environment that new line and then finally we can do our normalized text using normalized text that normalized text. All right, so let's run this and look at our normalized text here. Okay, so we got our original text there and we see everything's lowercase because it's by default that lowercases everything. We still have our diacritic within the crep, but then our number is removed. So let's change this up. Let's say keep diacritics false. 
I didn't have punctuation either. Uh, we'll keep our numbers, but let's also change our case mode to upper and see what that looks like. Okay, so everything's uppercase. That diacritic was removed. The number is still there and we still don't have any punctuation. So there we go. That's just a kind of a quick introduction to normalized text data within ML.net. Uh, it's probably a good idea whenever you, you have to deal with text data that you run this at least so the pipeline stays consistent throughout everything. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.